Hey guys, Greg with the bullet hole here for another free tip Friday. So today we're gonna to talk about basic AR-15 manipulations and how to run the rifle. Uh, first and foremost, got an empty magazine, cleared weapon, got a safe wall over here and you know, gun safety rule number one is all guns are always loaded. So we're gonna treat this as it's loaded uh, throughout the course of this whole thing. But again, there's no ammo in play today. So when we talk about AR-15s, you know, that's uh, the evil black rifle. Well, you know, to us, it's the, the modern day musket or, you know, the modern day uh, sword. You know, everybody that can legally own a firearm should have one of these. Uh, with that being said, we have a lot of new shooters buying firearms right now. And so I just wanted to take a minute and go over how exactly you run this weapon system safely and efficiently. Uh, biggest thing I want to point out right off the top is the safety. So with the safety, you've got two positions on a standard AR-15. You've got safe, which is with the lever pointing forwards. There's a little arrow on there. And on our receiver here, this is one of our custom built lowers, there is the shape of a bullet with an X through it. So that, that means that the gun will not fire. From there, if I want to take the rifle off safe and place it on fire, I'm just going to press that lever down. Boom, now it's ready to go. If you look at the little inscription on there, it's just got a bullet with no X through it. So I'm gonna keep it on safety for the majority of this demonstration. That way we just don't have anything going on with the trigger. A lot of people uh, load these different ways. Uh, that's one of the biggest things I deal with as a gunsmith and on the range is people not properly loading this rifle and attributing that to you know the rifle malfunctioning. Uh, so with that, I've already got the weapon locked open and this is how the weapon should start anytime you're planning on, on shooting an AR-15. So in order to lock the weapon to the rear, go ahead and demonstrate that we have what we call our bolt cache i've also nicknamed it a ping pong paddle because it's shaped like one with a real long handle in order to lock the bolt open there's this tab on the bottom i'm going to press that tab down while pulling rearwards on my charging handle when i pull rearwards on the charging handle that little ping pong paddle lever will press inwards into the rifle and if i let go of my charging handle boom the charging handle stays back that means i've properly locked the weapon open the chamber is open the bolt is to the rear now i'm going to return my charging handle forwards from there i'm going to take my you know simulated loaded magazine here and place it into the rifle when i place it into the rifle i'm going to press on the top side of that bolt catch when i do that it'll chamber around and the weapon will be ready to fire obviously we still have our safety in play so in order to actually shoot the firearm, we're going to have to flip the safety lever down. Now the weapon's off safe. It's hot. It's ready to go. From there, I'm going to place it back on safe. In order to unload the weapon, I'm going to press my magazine release, release the said magazine. I'm going to do the same exact thing again. I'm going to place my finger on the bolt catch, pressing downwards. I'm going to pull the charging handle to the rear, lock everything open. Big reason why we do that, because if we forget to remove the magazine, at least the bolt is locked open and out of battery. So I've got a fail safe there. So let's say I go to clear the weapon. I forget to take the magazine out. Well, cool. At least there's no round in the chamber. From there, hopefully we'll remember, hey, let's go ahead and take the magazine out. Another little tip on AR-15s, you know, since a lot of people use these for, for self-defense, home defense, all of that good stuff these days. So when you have a live rifle, round chambered or unchambered for that matter, I have an OCD habit about keeping the dust cover closed if I'm not firing. You know, the AR-15 is a closed system. Uh, if you're not shooting it, that dust cover should probably be closed. That way you don't have any dirt, debris, you know, water, anything like that getting into the, the bolt or bolt carrier mechanism, you know, trigger or any of that. Uh, so that's, that's a habit of mine. After I'm done firing a string out of the AR, if I'm ready to stow it, I always come up under and close the dust cover. Uh, it's also a military habit. A lot of guys that are that are veterans will do that too. So you'll see that all over the place. Uh, from there, the other part to mention for self-defense is that the trigger and safety can be operated out of order and you can still make the rifle fire. So we're going to do another check here. Weapons clear. Nice part about this is, is under stress, if I press the trigger on safe, the trigger's not going anywhere. Like I was saying though, I can do this out of order. So under stress, if I press the trigger first and then flip the safety, rifle still fires, which is kind of a nice little deal there because I can be ultra safe. I can be, you know, using this for home defense or, or whatever. And if I do everything out of order and that gun doesn't go bang, I can just flip that lever down and now it does. Uh, you know, it's, it's a fantastically easy system to operate. 
Uh, the big thing I would say avoiding to do is running the charging handle. I see a lot of new shooters that when they want to operate the weapon, they, they immediately instinctually go for this charging handle because that's, that's primarily what you see on TV. Uh, you know, I, I remember being, you know, 12 when I watched Black Hawk Down for the first time and when they were all making ready, you know, they put their magazine in the, in the weapon and then they cycle their charging handle and now the weapon's live and ready to fire. Well, the problem with that is, is that by using the charging handle, you are introducing human interaction to cycling the bolt. The problem there is, is that I might not pull back the charging handle far enough to chamber around properly, or I might slowly ride it home, which can also induce a malfunction, such as I've actually induced right here by riding it forwards. If you notice, the charging handle is not seated fully, nor is the bolt carrier group. This weapon is not ready to fire. In order to make it ready to fire, I either need to push everything forwards, or I can just double check it with my forward assist, which is hardly ever used these days, but it is kind of handy in situations like that. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, feel free to stop by our shop. Give us a call at 913-432-0050 or uh, you know, just hit us up on Instagram or Facebook. Have a great day.